couple of my investors in California sent me this home. They wanted me to run the numbers before they put in an offer. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey everyone, welcome to Holton Wise TV. You are watching the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. And as I said, a couple of my clients from California, they sent me this property. We're going to do some due diligence on this to make sure this is uh, the right deal for them to move forward on. Right? We're dealing with uh, Dee Dee and Fred. You guys are trying to get 20 properties out here in the Cleveland market. We've gone through many videos, many deals together. You guys just sent me this one last night. You were very interested in it. You wanted my take on it, so I said I would hammer this out for you. So I anticipate getting it for you by the end of the night. If not out of post-production by the end of the night, I will have it for you tomorrow a.m., right? So you guys sent it to me Monday night. I anticipate getting it to you Tuesday night or at the very latest Wednesday morning, right? Speed, guys. Speed and efficiency is incredibly important when we are investing in real estate. That's why we've built out this platform at Holton Wise because it's not just about finding the deals, guys. It's about finding the deals and being able to quickly, efficiently, systematically being able to perform that due diligence and get the right offers in, Okay. 3128 Chestnut Dale Avenue, Cleveland, 4 for 109. Now, you might be wondering why it sends a sense of urgency if it's been on the market for 46 days. Well, Dee Dee and Fred noticed this because it just had a price reduction. They just dropped it down to 64.9, which is very close where it should be. Very close to what I'd like to see you guys pick it up as. Now, this is a four bed, two bath house, right? That is very big right now, okay? The fact that we have four beds and two baths in this property make it really good for the Section 8 program because we get even higher vouchers. Now, from afar, it looks good, right? From where you're sitting, it probably looks good, probably looks turnkey, but it's not. If you look closely, you can see in basically every room that we need to go through and do a cosmetic renovation here. Like these counters, those counters, I'd probably replace that countertop, but the cabinets seem to be pretty good, but we're going to need to hit them with paint. You can see all the peeling paint here down on the bottom at the baseboard, okay? So you can see all that. You can see some peeling paint right here. You can see some peeling paint in this other room on the baseboard, right? You guys got to understand, when listing agents are taking pictures of these houses and put them on the MLS for their sellers, they, of course, are trying to make the homes look as good as possible, right? That's why you get people like me to go through them with a fine-tooth comb so we could point out all these imperfections, right? If you look at this picture from afar, you're like, oh, it's turnkey, rent ready, nice fancy floor, it all looks good, it's got the gray paint, but you got to look closer, look, you see here on the, on the countertop, right, it's all peeling and falling off there, right here, looks like we used to have a cabinet up there, that got taken down, some stuff obviously got jammed in the wall when they were moving, uh, more peeling on the baseboard, peeling on the bottom of the, of the door there, right, so you could really just see that we have to go through this and do a cosmetic touch up pretty much everywhere. This room, you can see the scuffs right here, scuffs right here. These are the kind of things your tenants are going to be looking at when they're actually up close and personal tour in the house. So we got to take care of all this stuff, right? This particular room, I don't really see anything here. I'm sure there is some stuff, but uh, this room actually looks pretty decent. Uh, here I could point out some stuff. You got peel and paint right there. Issues right there, issues right there, stuff on the carpet there. Okay, next photo. Lenders, our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com to be part of our referral network. This room, uh, this has to get pretty much totally redone, right? These definitely dated, got to replace those, peel and paint right there up there so we got to redo this room right get get this thing taken care of looks like we're missing a light 
right there as well, okay? So just going through this and, and realizing, you know, you can see stuff on the bottom left of that shower, right? You can see the kids are drawn on this room right here, all right? So that's enough of that, right? Just showing you that, yes, it does look good in photos, but if you look closely, it's actually not turnkey. You got to go through, do a cosmetic rental. But once we do that, just one last thing, peel and paint here, and the floor's coming up there, okay? And you can see even on the sink basin here, uh, the 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 coating of that is actually starting to come off, right? So it needs a cosmetic reno. We could utilize the fact that it needs that cosmetic reno to try to beat the sellers up a little bit. Try to pick it up at 60. Then we drop 15 into it, right? 15 will get it looking pretty. Should get that bathroom updated. Should get the whole house one color, neutral paint throughout. We'll pull all that carpet off. We'll refinish the hardwoods. Get it fresh and crisp, ready to go for a Section 8 tenant. When we get a Section 8 tenant in there, guys... They're probably going to be paying eleven hundred of government guaranteed money to you. That's going to be thirteen thousand two hundred for the year. Normal performance expectations. I anticipate you guys spending approximately fifty nine forty to operate it, leaving you guys with an NOI of seven thousand two hundred sixty. And that's accounting for your big ticket items too, guys. If you see, I got a capex line expenditure there because you have to understand you're not getting brand new furnaces, hot water tanks, and roofs with properties like this, right? They're all going to be mid to end of life, so you got to save money now, knowing that eventually you're going to drop five or six k on a roof, you're going to drop three on a furnace. You're going to drop one on a hot water tank. But that's why we save that. So that's addition in addition to your 7260. Also, we're also saving the same amount every year for vacancy and non-payment and repairs and maintenance, right? These are just things that happen when you're a real estate investor. So all told, if we pick it up at 60, do that 15K rental, you're in it for 75. That's a 9-7 cap. You finance it. You put 15 down. You get a loan for 45. When you're factoring out your cash on cash return, don't forget to add in the additional $15,000 for that reno. And this thing should pencil out at about a 20% cash on cash return, guys. Solid deal. You guys did great finding this property. It's right in your wheelhouse. It's what we've been looking at. As far as the price, you had originally suggested to me a price of 60. I think that's perfect. I think that's a good deal for you. And I think we can actually get the sellers to budge. So great job out of you, Dee Dee and Fred. I think you identified a, a very good property and it was very smart of you though before you put in the offer before you spend $75,000 you want to make sure you get my take so you're not overspending and of course I will be able to write that offer on your behalf try to negotiate that 5k discount in there and then I will coordinate other due diligence because this is just a start guys we still have to get a home inspector in there to go through the home with a fine tooth comb to make sure we don't find anything else out like if we go in there and everything I just said, it all seems great, but there's a major structural issue. Boom, that kills the deal, right? So this is part one of due diligence. Great job thus far. Let's try to lock it up at 60, get that home inspector in there, and go for there. Everybody else, if you want to work with me in the same way Dee, Dee and Fred have been doing, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Include your phone number. We'll talk to you about the process of how we can help you start, build, grow, or sell your real estate portfolio. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.